Uh, my webcam's not working right now, so I had to create my presentation without any kind of visual. I created it on Nearpod. Go to nearpod.com, and the access code is OJHXN. The future of education, emerging technologies. Uh, how did we get here? In 2016, kids all want smartphones, so I just have some research on the background of, of why we are using technology in our classroom and how much people are using. Most kids are using Facebook, so I thought of, you know, why can't teachers use Facebook? My district, they don't allow teachers and students to share or friend. So I have a question on here. Would you meet uh, kids, children, kids on Facebook through social media? Where has education been with technology? Basically, technology has taken us into two different paths. Teachers that use it for sub, uh, substitution and teachers that use technology to do transformation of their instruction. So substitution, people are using smart boards in their classroom or PowerPoints. Um, they're using technology, but they're not really doing much with it. They use document cameras or projectors. They're not changing how students are learning. What we do know is that teachers need to transform their classrooms, and there's many reasons why. Here's a study from 2015 that took a look at all the things we need to do in our classroom. Uh, teachers should transform their classroom using the four C's, communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. So there's some information we all know already. Where is education currently at? Uh, in my classroom, I'm using Canvas and Schoology in my classroom. I use School City, Google Forms, and Schoology to do testing online. I'm also using Kahoot and Quizzes and a lot of other programs. These are all the programs I use. Uh, so there's tons of them. The only thing is I'm, I have too many. So my focus is going to be in the next couple years is narrowing it down to what, what programs are essential in my classroom. Technology is not only useful in the classroom, it's also used in uh, the professional world. So uh, here's a study that was done and the CEO of IBM just talks about how collaboration promotes uh, better productivity in their uh, company. Do you allow students to use cell phones in your classroom? I do. I think that it's productive and it allows students to be able to access the internet, narrow the the technology gap that we that we have, students that have cell phones are able to get online anytime, anywhere. Where's the education currently at? Most classrooms are blended, meaning we lecture and we use online programs. Uh, I, I've used a blended classroom. This is current, this is up to date, 2017. Um, this is where a lot of people are at and we're kind of stuck there. Where's the education going? My vision, I had a vision in 2001 of classrooms in the future. Uh, picture a large warehouse with like 300 computers and two teacher people walking around, just making sure everybody's on their computer doing their work. Um, and then you maybe have like four pods, something like that. Uh, very futuristic. Uh, I had that vision quite a while ago, 16 years ago. So I. I thought of some ideas. I, I watched the video, The Future of Education, and came up with some ideas that are really far out there. Uh, the first thing that I thought was classroom. Classroom with the computer labs, like I mentioned, my vision. Uh, classrooms that are paperless. Students, in, or here's another option, students in self-contained classroom where teachers go from one classroom to the next teaching. Like it's students in a history classroom, they're at their computer in their little module they got all their stuff with them. They learn history. Bell rings. They take a break. Another teacher comes in, and now they're going to learn math. Another th thought that I had was uh, basically from Udacity, from the uh, Professor Vern from Stanford. Classrooms are 100% online. Class sizes 130,000 students, or no public schools at all. Every every school is online, or better yet, no teachers in classroom. What are we good for? So here's the timeline of my predictions. I, I know I was supposed to choose just one one year to focus on, but I thought it would be neat to, to think about where should we go. 
uh, all students in schools have one-to-one -one tablets is where we're kind of at now and within the next 10 years all schools should be at that level uh, in, in 20 years all students with ebook access and most teachers going paperless in 30 years 2050 this is where we finally meet our 21st century classroom in 2055 in 50 years this is my vision I think that uh, my prediction of the future of all computer labs less teachers and then finally no classrooms degrees obsolete schools obsolete everyone's learning everything they need to know is all online uh, how would employees hire people they wouldn't base employment on how much education you have they base employment on how much you know so do you think your classroom will go paperless in the next five years um, I've already started Teachers will not be replaced by technology, but teachers who do not use technology will be replaced by those who do. I've seen this quote quite a few times. I really like it. I try to use it as my signature, but uh, my first email I sent to a, a veteran teacher, he ran into my classroom right away and said, uh, you know, technology is not the answer to everything. So I kind of removed that signature, but I like it. That's current. But I think in the future, eventually, technology will replace us. We're going to be indispensable or our predecessors will be indispensable. Do you think teachers will be replaced? I do, eventually. And there's my reference. Thank you.